Hi guys, today's project is to replace the LiPo battery that's inside this little helicopter with a new one. I've bought a pack of five LiPo batteries uh, from Banggood in this case. I measured up the battery that was in there, length, width and depth, and these were the closest match I could find. They're the same length and the same thickness and they should be slightly narrower than the one that's in there so it should fit in exactly the same space and I should be able to balance it out with a bit of um, clay or something if we need to adjust the balance. I'll take this apart and we'll see what we can do. I'll do this very quickly, in other words I'll speed up the video because I've already done a video on disassembling this. Hopefully you can see that the batteries are different sizes, but I was going on the length and the thickness. This one is the same length, about the same thickness, but it's narrower that way. So it will still fit in the same location. So what we need to do is get the circuit board out, which means I'm going to have to undo the screw that's on the other side, desolder this one and solder this one on. I doubt whether I'll be able to show you me doing the soldering because this is just going to be a bit too fiddly. I'll try and do it in front of the camera. I don't know how well this will work. <laughs> I don't know. I can't get in there. Got some sort of glue on there as well. Still positive is on the right. Negative is on the left. Here's the new one. Just tin the wires first. I've carefully cut the connector off. Alright, I want to try and get that muck out of the way first. some sort of glue or something to try and stop the vibration. Okay. It's not good enough. Soldering iron's much too big. I'll let it cool down a second. Although that seems to have done the job. If there's any power in there. Yeah, got power in there. 
Okay, we'll try and put it back together. All back together. I haven't charged it yet. There's obviously a little bit of charge in there. So we'll put it on charge and um, give it a try in a few minutes. Fully charged, will it lift off the ground? No! Oh dear! So we've changed the battery and we're no better off. So what do we do now? One thing I forgot to demonstrate, that's the original battery. I'll just add that connector which I cut off the new battery and you can see my scales aren't accurate enough to see any difference there. So we're talking about 6 grams. zero that again. This is the new battery with the connector on it and that's also six grams. So we haven't made any significant difference by changing the battery. The helicopter itself, just out of interest, that's its all up weight including the battery, 38 grams. And this other Air Hawks helicopter I've got is significantly lighter and this one just about gets off the ground before its battery gives up because this one needs a battery change as well but that's interesting to note that that one is a lot heavier summary disappointing obviously now I don't know whether that controller is sending the right signal to that helicopter because it's not the original controller so it's vaguely possible that when we're giving it full throttle on there it's not sending the right signal through to the controller to give it full throttle on there because changing the battery has made absolutely no difference we're getting the same sort of performance with the new battery fully charged as it is there that we were with the old battery and I have checked the old battery and it seems fine but you can't really tell until you put a load on it so that's it really I don't know what else we can do short of getting a new controller which is going to cost even more money But all we can do at the moment is watch it bounce around on the floor. So, unsuccessful job done.